Okay, so uh, moving on to task SS3 of our spreadsheet uh, software. It says Frederick wants to encourage younger members of staff to make the trip. His next report to the management team will include a chart displaying the balance for each member of staff who is less than 30 years old. The chart must identify members of staff by their first name. It should be fit for purpose and it should have a suitable title and access labels. Okay, so we need to uh, create a chart with the staff who are less than uh, 30 years old. Okay, that's an important criteria to keep in mind. So uh, what we'll do is uh, let's switch off formula view. Let's go back to data view. Let's come to formulas and say switch this off. Let's click over here. Double click on one of the columns so they would all auto fit. Okay, so I need those who are less than 30 years old. So what I can do over here is uh, I can either sort this from small to big and then select those below 30 years or something else that I can do is I can put a filter. Let me show you how that works. I can come to sort and filter and put a filter. So in this filter, I can come and say I want those who are less than less than or equal to 30 who is less than 30 years old. So I can say less than 30 and say OK. So now only those who are less than 30 years old would be visible. So then what I do is I go ahead and select my data. The data I need is staff by their first name staff by their first name and what am I trying to show in this chart I'm trying to show the balance for each member so I have selected the first name okay let's select it with the heading first name and I want to go and select the balance to be paid so now I'm going to press the control key while holding on to the control key I'm going to select this data okay let me show it to you again selected the first name then press control and selected the balance to be paid then has the question paper told me what type of a chart I need to create? They haven't told me. They have simply said it should be fit for purpose. So let me ask the computer. Let's come to the insert tab, recommended charts. Which one looks the easiest to understand and the best for purpose? I think the clustered column, you know, this first chart is good enough. So I'm going to click on OK. So I have my chart over here. Let's scroll down and see what needs to be done. Uh, so it should have a suitable title and access labels so let's put a suitable title balance to be paid by staff below 30 years okay do not forget your access label so let's come over here click on the plus symbol access titles so this is the first name and this is the balance to be paid balance to be paid. Uh, let's make this look like a uh, title bold underlined. Okay, that looks better. Uh, then it says um, create the chart as a separate worksheet. So what you can do is click on right click on a blank area in this chart. Okay, somewhere over here it's blank area. Right click over here and click on move chart. Okay, so click on move chart and say you want to move it to a new sheet, okay, which is basically a new worksheet. So new sheet and click on OK. So now your chart is appearing as a separate worksheet altogether. Then the question paper goes on to say enter these details in the footer of your chart. So you can come to uh, insert header and footer. Uh, you need a custom footer. So task ss3 your name your candidate number your center number okay that's also done okay okay now over here you can see the footer is not visible however when you go into print preview the footer would be visible okay then it says save the spreadsheet as task ss3 so shortcut key you can use f12 and change this to ss3 and then it says uh, print the chart to fill one A4 sheet and it should be landscape. Okay, so let's come into print preview. Control P is a shortcut key. And uh, it's already in landscape orientation. Okay, we need it to be A4 paper. Is it fitting one A4 paper? Yes, it is fitting one A4 paper. So you're good to go ahead and click on print. <coughs> okay, so with that, we have now come to the end of SS3. Okay. Uh, let's move on to task SS4. So over here it says open a new document using word processing software. Enter these details in the footer 
and save the document as task ss4 so let's right click over here new word document and let's save this as task ss4 let's open it up and uh, let's go to the bottom task ss4 your name your candidate number and your center number okay so then the question paper goes on to say answer these questions on the document task ss4 in task ss3 you created a chart to be used in a report explain how you ensured that your chart was suitable to be used in the report okay so do we have to paste a copy of the chart no it doesn't say we have to simply explain what we did to make sure that our chart was suitable to be used in the report so what we can do is we can let's make the font bigger let's zoom in a first question isn't it no, this we can say uh, in my chart I inserted a suitable chart title so that uh, anyone looking at the title would understand the uh, purpose or understand the information let's put purpose we'll understand the purpose of the chart okay then we can also go on to say further further I have also labeled the axis so the reader would know what each axis represents okay you remember we label the axis right we said first name and the balance to be paid okay uh, okay the next question is the next question is some formula use absolute cell referencing explain the reason for using absolute cell referencing in formula so I hope you do remember we used absolute cell referencing when we were trying to find the balance left to pay hope you do remember that let me show you again when it came to when it came to calculating the balance to be paid we did not want this particular cell address to change right so that is when we used absolute cell referencing the shortcut key was f4 so they're asking us to explain why we used it and to give an example of where we used it so you can say uh, absolute absolute cell referencing is used when a particular cell address should remain constant constant when it is being replicated I used sorry I used absolute cell referencing for cell B B what B3 for cell B3 when we when I was calculating the balance to be paid okay so I have given the example of where it was used and I have also given the purpose of using absolute cell referencing okay uh, with that we have uh, where are we task SS4 so resave task SS4 print task SS4 on one side of A4 so let's resave it control P it's fitting one a4 paper you can go ahead and click on print and with that we have come to the end of activity number two okay so now uh, spreadsheet software is over uh, next we will be moving on to activity number three which is using web authoring software uh, where we will be using Dreamweaver okay so uh, hope things are going well and uh, see you in the next video